In late 2025, China stunned the world by unveiling its ambitious plans for the largest nuclear-powered cargo ship ever conceived. This announcement marked a pivotal moment not just for China, but for the entire global shipping industry, signaling a bold new era in maritime technology and energy use. This vessel isn't just another addition to the world's fleet, it's a potential game-changer that could transform the way goods move across our oceans. With its immense size and advanced propulsion, it promises to redefine the standards of international shipping, but what truly sets this ship apart is its commitment to sustainability. It represents a leap toward cleaner, faster, and more efficient ocean transport, addressing the urgent need to reduce emissions and environmental impact in one of the world's most polluting industries. At its heart is a thorium-based molten salt reactor, a cutting-edge technology that allows the ship to carry up to 14,000 containers across vast oceans without the need for refueling. This means longer voyages, fewer stops, and a dramatic reduction in operational costs and carbon footprint. Unlike traditional nuclear reactors, this fourth-generation design is engineered for maximum safety and efficiency. Its innovative features minimize the risk of meltdown and make it far more adaptable for use at sea, where reliability is paramount. China is breathing new life into a concept that many other nations once abandoned. By turning decades-old theory into a working reality, Chinese engineers are pushing the boundaries of what's possible in shipbuilding and nuclear technology. For decades, the shipping industry has relied on diesel engines and heavy fuel oil, sources of pollution that have contributed to global warming and poor air quality in port cities. Now, with this nuclear leap, a cleaner and more sustainable alternative is finally within reach. But the implications go beyond the environment. This ship is also a strategic asset, challenging the dominance of established naval powers and signaling China's intent to lead in both commercial and military maritime innovation. Backed by years of research, successful experiments, and real-world progress, China's nuclear cargo ship is no longer just a blueprint or a distant dream. It's a tangible project, moving steadily from concept to reality. In this chapter we'll dive deep into how the molten salt reactor works, why it's considered safer than previous designs, and what its adoption could mean for the future of global trade and energy security. Join us as we explore the story of a technological revolution setting sail, one that could reshape the world's oceans and the future of shipping as we know it. At the core of this ship's advanced energy system is thorium, a silvery metal that's often overlooked but holds immense promise for the future of clean power. Thorium is naturally abundant, especially in countries like China, where vast reserves lie waiting to be tapped. Unlike uranium, which is commonly used in today's nuclear reactors, thorium is more plentiful and can be sourced with less environmental impact. China's rich thorium deposits make it a strategic resource for next-generation nuclear technology, offering a secure and long-term supply of fuel for decades to come. Thorium itself isn't fissile, meaning it can't sustain a nuclear chain reaction on its own. But when placed inside a reactor, it absorbs a neutron and transforms into uranium. 233, a highly efficient nuclear fuel. This transformation unlocks a powerful and steady source of energy with the potential to revolutionize how we power ships and cities alike. The molten salt reactor is a unique design that dissolves thorium in hot, liquid fluoride salts, creating a circulating, radioactive solution. This liquid fuel is at the heart of the reactor's innovation. As the liquid fuel flows through the reactor's core, it generates heat directly and efficiently, eliminating the need for solid fuel rods and complex handling systems. The heat produced is then transferred to a secondary loop, where it can be used to generate electricity or propel a ship. Unlike traditional nuclear reactors, where fuel and coolant are separate, the molten salt reactor combines both into a single integrated system. This not only simplifies the reactor's design, but also boosts its overall efficiency and reliability. As the reactor operates, waste products are continuously filtered out of the circulating liquid. This on-the-fly removal process reduces downtime for maintenance and dramatically cuts down on the amount of long-lived radioactive waste produced. The entire process is inherently self-regulating. If the reactor gets too hot, the liquid expands and slows the reaction, while heat is carried away instantly by the circulating salts, ensuring stable and safe operation. 
Thanks to this innovative design, ships powered by molten salt reactors can operate for much longer periods without refueling, all while producing cleaner energy with minimal emissions. The molten salt reactor represents a smarter, more sustainable approach to harnessing nuclear power, one that could transform not just shipping, but the entire energy landscape. With its advances in safety, efficiency, and waste reduction, the molten salt reactor is truly a leap forward in the quest for reliable, clean, and sustainable energy. The Jiangnan Shipbuilding Group's new vessel is a true giant, stretching nearly half a kilometer in length and towering above the waves like a floating city. This ship isn't just about size, it's a marvel of modern engineering, representing a bold leap forward in maritime technology. At the heart of this behemoth lies its most groundbreaking feature, a thorium-fueled nuclear reactor. Unlike conventional marine engines that burn fossil fuels, this ship harnesses the power of the atom, offering a cleaner, more sustainable way to cross the oceans. The reactor produces an astonishing 200 megawatts of thermal energy, putting it on par with the nuclear reactors found in U.S. Navy submarines. This immense power output allows the ship to travel farther and faster than any conventional cargo vessel. But the innovation doesn't stop there. Instead of using steam, the reactor heats carbon dioxide to a supercritical state, a cutting-edge approach that spins turbines with remarkable efficiency and reduces mechanical wear. This advanced Brayton cycle system converts heat to electricity at up to 50% efficiency, far surpassing the 30% typical of traditional steam turbines. That means more of the reactor's energy is put to work moving cargo, not lost as waste heat. The result is a ship that delivers more power with less weight, freeing up valuable space for additional cargo. This efficiency translates directly into greater profits and a smaller environmental footprint. The reactor itself is modular and completely sealed, designed to operate continuously for up to 10 years without the need for maintenance or refueling, a revolutionary concept in marine propulsion. When its service life ends, the entire reactor module is simply swapped out for a new one. This minimizes downtime, reduces the risk of radiation exposure, and keeps the ship running smoothly with minimal interruption. This plug-and-play approach to nuclear power makes shipping not only safer, but also more practical and scalable for fleets around the world. With its advanced systems, the ship can remain at sea for years at a time, reducing the need for hazardous refueling operations and allowing crews to work in a safer, more controlled environment. This vessel isn't just a ship, it's a blueprint for the future of maritime logistics, showing how innovation and sustainability can reshape global trade for generations to come. The thorium molten salt reactor is built for safety from the ground up. It operates at atmospheric pressure, eliminating the risk of explosive steam accidents. If the reactor overheats, the nuclear reaction naturally slows, a built-in safety feature. A frozen salt plug at the reactor's base melts in emergencies, draining fuel into safe containment tanks. This passive system stops the reaction without human intervention. No water in the core means no risk of hydrogen explosions, like Fukushima. The reactor's self-regulating physics prevent runaway reactions. Molten salt as both fuel and coolant simplifies the design and reduces hazards. Safety isn't an afterthought. It's fundamental to the reactor's operation. This makes it one of the safest nuclear technologies ever developed. China's journey began in the Gobi Desert, where its land-based thorium reactor achieved stable, long-term operation in 2025. This success proved thorium could be converted into usable fuel, unlocking energy independence. The lessons from the desert allowed engineers to adapt the technology for ships, finalizing plans in late 2025. With proven safety and efficiency, China now leads the race to bring this technology to sea. China's thorium-powered ship is a direct challenge to U.S. maritime dominance. While the U.S. pioneered molten salt reactors in the 1960s, China has revived and advanced the technology. This sparks a new race, not just for military power, but for commercial and energy leadership. Thorium ships could operate non-stop, reshaping global supply chains and slashing emissions. Shipping could become faster, more predictable, and less dependent on oil. Companies using these ships gain a competitive and environmental edge. The impact extends to land, where smaller, safer reactors could power remote areas. 
China positions itself as a provider of next-generation nuclear technology. The thorium ship is a floating symbol of a new energy era. It could reshape economies and alliances worldwide. Despite its promise, the thorium ship faces steep economic and regulatory challenges. Building and operating a nuclear cargo ship is far costlier than conventional vessels. Specialized crews, insurance, and reactor replacement add to expenses. International maritime law isn't ready for commercial nuclear ships, and many ports may refuse entry. Overcoming public fears and building trust will require major diplomatic efforts. Handling spent reactor modules demands secure, specialized infrastructure. Without clear solutions to these hurdles, widespread adoption remains uncertain. The path to a nuclear shipping fleet is as complex as it is ambitious. The thorium cargo ship is just the start of China's marine nuclear ambitions. China is developing nuclear-powered oil tankers and floating power stations, each using different advanced reactors. This multi-pronged approach builds expertise across technologies, from lead bismuth fast reactors to gas-cooled designs. Floating nuclear platforms could power remote areas and offshore industries. China aims to dominate the future of marine nuclear power, not just with ships, but with an entire ecosystem. These projects show a strategic commitment to clean, flexible energy at sea. By mastering multiple reactor types, China positions itself as the world's top supplier of nuclear maritime solutions. It's about building an industry, not just a ship. China's thorium ship is already shaping the future, reigniting a global race for advanced nuclear power. Its success could decarbonize shipping and transform global trade logistics. If economic and regulatory barriers fall, it could become the prototype for a new, cleaner fleet. The world will watch as China moves from design to sea trials. Success could spark global investment, while failure could stall the field. This ship is a symbol of shifting power and technological ambition. It challenges old assumptions about leadership in science and trade. As it sets sail, it charts a new course for the 21st century. The journey is just beginning.